Hi everyone! Chaos here with another exciting DIY. Don't worry, this one is a lot simpler. It's holographic reversible skate wings for Moxies. I couldn't decide on what color to pick, so they're reversible. Two colors. And I couldn't find any that were mermaid fin design or ones that fit over the hooks for the boots. So I designed some myself. Plus, with the amount of materials you get, you have enough to make three more unique designs for only $50. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. For tools, you'll need scissors and whatever else you're comfortable to use for cutting. You'll need vinyl glue, a 2 fifths inch eyelid stamp kit, but if you can just find this piece, that's all I ended up using. For materials, you want to find shoe fabric specifically, like leather, vinyl, canvas, whatever is rigid enough to stand firm. I chose holographic vinyl in four different colors that come in a pack on Amazon, and I picked the hexagon glitter canvas sheets because it's just a bit classier than the chunky glitter, which is what I see most wings made of. You can find more styles in holographic, metallic, there's even mermaid print but I wanted something more universal to all the different style wings I plan on showing you how to make today. First, you wanna take a sheet of notebook paper. Then you wanna cut it in half. This is the biggest size you want your design to be, so you have enough material left over to make a wing for both skates. Then you wanna draw your design on the half sheet of paper. Here's the mermaid design I made based on the Victoria's Secret mermaid heel. To draw it, first you start with the eyelet holes. To figure out their placement, I put them over the moxie hooks to see how they would fit and realized a 2 fifths inch grommet eyelet will go over the hooks and fit in an overlapping pattern. Then I draw that pattern, tracing the grommet on the paper. You can always cut the holes out and try them on the hooks to be sure they fit perfectly. Once you've drawn around the eyelets, you can begin to design the boning and then a rough outline of the webbing. I designed it bringing it in at an arch between the bones and adding a few deep cut designs in the centers. Then I draw the tattered edges. You don't have to copy my style of mermaid fin though. You can create it any way you want to. That's the beauty of DIY. And for this tutorial, I'll show you how to do butterfly, angel, and bat wing design. Again, you can do these however you want. This is just what I thought looked coolest. Now that we have our drawings, let's cut them out. And what I like to do is tape the vinyl to the paper drawing so it keeps it in place and I get a nice solid copy of my design. Don't forget to turn the paper over to mirror the other side. You definitely don't want to end up with two of the same side cut. Once you've finished carefully cutting out these shapes, you'll have all your vinyl pieces. Next, we go back to the paper drawing and cut out the next layer of material design so it looks like this. Trace the design onto the hexagon glitter canvas and carefully cut it out. At this point, you could make non-reversible one color skate wings and simply glue this side to the vinyl. But in case you wanna make two colors, don't glue it down just yet. Trace and cut out the design again in another color, then compare the two cuts. You want to make sure they're as similar as possible before gluing to the vinyl. Check and recheck to see that everything sits where it should be before gluing. This is where a precision knife might come in handy, especially if you plan on doing the butterfly design. Be sure to take your time and do a careful job at cutting and to put down cardboard to protect your table.
Each wing should have four canvas cut pieces, left side and right side in two different colors. Get your Loctite vinyl plastic and canvas adhesive and use a paintbrush to evenly coat the fabric. Careful not to drip it on the vinyl in the places you don't want glue. Start at the base near the eyelet holes and work your way to the ends. Don't glue the area around the holes yet. Trust me, you don't want to stamp all three layers at once. Now we let it sit for one hour to make sure it's dry. Then glue the other side and let sit for at least one hour again. Okay, so it was getting pretty late and this is going to be loud because we're hammering, so it's the next day. And this is probably the hardest part about this tutorial, but don't worry, you're almost done! For the first layer of fabric, trace the holes from the paper design onto the fabric. Please be sure to use caution when hammering. Place a piece of wood under your material, and I suggest practicing on a piece of the fabric before trying it out on your skate wings. Make sure what you are hammering on top of is a strong support structure. I'm using a chair here because my kitchen table has only one leg. If you have a heavy mallet, a few hits should perforate, but twisting can also help cut through the fabric. Try not to take the stamper off of the material to check if it's gone through, as placing it back again can be difficult. Use the first layer of fabric as the template for the second layer of where to put the holes in the vinyl. If a cut hasn't completely gone through, it might be easier to use scissors or precision knife to cut the hole from the fabric once the circle has been outlined. For the last layer of fabric, simply trace the holes from the other layers of fabric. So we finally finished all of the holes for all of the skate wings. We're pretty much done. We could glue the fabric between them, but I found that having the flexibility to move them makes it easier to put them on the laces. And you could put the metal pieces on, but I haven't tried that yet, and I don't know if it'll get in the way of the laces, but this is how I finished my other ones. and. It stayed pretty great so far. So, you're all done now. Now you have four pairs of holographic two-sided reversible skate wings for only $50. And I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe.